In this workbook, we have a scroll bar that controls the dates in this report, and you can download this sample file from my website. When we click the scroll bar, it changes the date for the last date in this report. The next thing we're going to do is create a chart that uses this data. So to do that, I'll start with this empty cell at the top left, select the dates and the regions and the data for those headings, and on the Insert menu, click Line, and I'll use this first line chart. That puts in a chart that's a little too big, so I'll just reduce the size of it and move it under the table. I would also like to see a heading in here that shows the date range that we have selected, and I'm going to change the labels so that instead of having a legend at the side, we'll have a label at the last point in each of the series. So the first step is to get rid of the legend, and under Chart Tools, I'll go to Layout, Legend, None. So that gets rid of that. Then with the chart still selected, go to Design. And there are different layouts that we can use. And one of these, which is Layout 6, has a label at the end of each series. It labels the last point and it tells me which region that's in. I don't want to see the value though, I just want to see the region name. So to change that, I'll click on one of those labels and on the Layout tab, click Format Selection. That opens up this Format Data Labels, but I can't see here anything is selected. I know that both the series name and value are showing, but there's no way for me to change it right now. However, if I go back to the chart and click on that label again, then I can see the two check marks. So I'm going to remove the value and just leave the series name. Then I'll click on the other label for east, do the same thing, click on it a second time and then remove the label and then I'll click close and I can now just see the region names in the chart. I'll click away from it and now if I click the scroll bar the date range changes and the chart changes to show the selected dates. The final thing we'll do instead of this title that says chart title, we're going to use the date range in the chart title. To do that, I'm going to make a change to the worksheet title, and then I'll link the chart title to this cell. Right now, it's just got sales summary typed into the cell. I'm going to change this to a formula. So I'll click in front of the first letter, type an equal sign, then a double quote, and at the end, I'll put a dash, a space, and another quote. So this cell is now just going to say sales summary in a dash and I want it to show the date range. So I'll put an ampersand and then click on the first date here which is C5. Now if I just linked that cell it's going to show me a number for the date instead of a nicely formatted date. So I'll click in front of that C5 and I'll use the text function to change the formatting of that date. Text, open bracket, and then C5 I'll put a comma after that, and then within quotes, I want this to show as a three-letter month, so MMM, and then a dash two-digit year, so two Ys, and close that. So it's going to say sales summary, and then this date, and another ampersand two, make sure you have spaces before and after, and then another ampersand. I'm just going to copy what I put in here, paste that at the end and this time instead of C5 I'm going to change this so that it links to E5 and when I press enter we can see sales summary April 2012 to June 2012 and as I change the scroll bar that title changes so for this chart title I've clicked on the chart title type an equal sign in the formula bar and then link on the cell B2 where we have the title, press enter and now that shows up in the chart and I'll just make it smaller to fit the chart. So now we scroll through the title changes on the worksheet and in the chart. For more Excel tips and tutorials and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.